How to Spend Wisely A lot of you will be receiving your salary or sales bonus. This is my question. Has your financial status improved this year compared to last year? Does your goal of paying your debt, get some savings or do a little investment come to a reality? We know how difficult it is to earn a living so it is important to be wise in our spending. The American actor Will Rogers who became popular in the 1930s said something about unwise spending. This is what he said, too many people spend money they haven't earned, to buy things they don't want, to impress people they don't like. How do we spend our money wisely? 1. Wise spending does not result in huge debts. If you are a wise spender, you ought to be out of huge debt that you can hardly pay. Romans 13 verse 8 clearly says this. Let no debt remain outstanding, except the continuing debt to love one another. It is stressful to think about too many debts. That is why think twice before using your credit card, especially if you have a lot of payables from the previous purchases. Try to let your credit card take a rest until you have lowered your payables. Surely you will enjoy so much rest if you have freed yourself from too much debt. Bear in mind that wise spending should not lead to huge debts. 2. Wise spending is investing in life change. There are people who invest in the stock market, bonds, property, art pieces or jewelry so they can have something to leave for their children and grandchildren. It's not bad to think and prepare for the future of your loved ones. But these investments are not forever. Have you tried investing in the lives of children by supporting them in their education? Or investing in advocacy that promotes development and improvement of communities? To contribute and invest in order to improve the quality of people's lives is a wise spending of your income. 3. Wise spending is to glorify God in your financial life. When you buy something, try to ask yourself if that purchase will glorify the Lord. The reminder for us from 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 is this, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. I believe shopping is included in this. There are a lot of reminders from the Bible about money management. Our self-control, integrity, and faithfulness to God is tested in our spending. Are you a wise spender? Remember this, wise spending does not result in huge debts. Wise spending is investing in life change. And wise spending is to glorify God in your financial life.